Thank you very much and welcome back to Sky Sports News and welcome to Lotus headquarters here in Enstone in Oxfordshire for what is a very special occasion indeed for the staff here. It is perhaps the event of the year because in just a few minutes time we will reveal the project they've been working on amid such secrecy for these past months. The new car for the 2013 season. As you can see, everyone's gathered around here in the race bay area of the factory itself. That's because we have had a little bit of drama here at Enstone earlier this evening. If I could just put it that our original venue, which was a marquee, developed something of an aerodynamic problem. It looked like it was going to blow away. But I think a big round of applause is due for everyone here for managing to, to build a new venue from scratch in just over 90 minutes. So a big hand for everyone here, if you can, for their efforts in getting this together. <laughs> that is very well deserved. Now, this new car will represent two great but distinct Formula One traditions, primarily the Enstone tradition, and the facility here is now entering into its 21st competitive season, but also the Lotus tradition, a name synonymous with innovation since the 1950s. Between the two of them, they've amassed 10 Formula One Constructors' Championships, and 10 Formula One World Drivers' Championships, won by a roll call of absolute legends, from Jim Clark to Fernando Alonso by way of a, a certain Michael Schumacher. But I wonder if there'll be another Formula One World Champion here at Lotus next year. Certainly the name Kimi Raikkonen would sit very well on that list. Do the team feel they are capable of winning maybe the drivers, maybe even the constructors' championships in 2013? Well, let's find out because we have uh, Eric Boulier, the team principal, and Gerard Lopez, the chairman of Lotus F1. Very good to see you and a, a happy new year to you both. Maybe I'll throw that to you, Gerard, first of all. Um, 2014, we know all about new engines, big expense, but 2013, is this a year of compromise or a year when you can really go for it? Um, I, I think there's never a compromise in Formula One, you know, so I think it's a year where everybody will still be shooting for getting the maximum out of their team. Same thing in our case. So our expectation is to do hopefully better than we did last year, which is quite a lofty expectation. But, you know, that's what we're shooting for. Okay. And you, Eric, I mean, based on what you achieved last year, how well placed are you to go and challenge, you know, for the Kimi with the drivers or maybe even the Constructors' Championship? What are the targets? Third place, I think you've said. Could you do better? <laughs> Uh, we will try, definitely. I mean, third place is at least an achievement we would like to, 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 to have next year. Uh, we, we obviously expect to build on the momentum from 2012, uh, some stability in the regulations, uh, both drivers, I think, more eager than ever. Uh, and obviously, 500 people here at Enstone who delivered, I think, quite a nice car and, uh, and are really, really, really keen to do better than 2012. So obviously, we will fight everything we can to, to be in top three. I mean, the question last year was how competitive, how up for it would Kimi be? And I think he answered those questions quite emphatically. What does it say about the team's ambition that you got him here and you've kept him here as well? I mean, there were, seemed to be one or two other teams sniffing around him at the end of last season. Um, well, Kimi's back there, so I... I <laughs> <laughs> Zero, right? <laughs> he's here. <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think, I mean, he's... Uh, like everybody else here, I think people that are here feel pretty good about about the team. There's a, there is a special Enstone culture, for sure. Um, I'm not saying it's laid back is the wrong term, but for sure it's it's a very accepting culture of people with differences and, and people that handle certain things in a different way. Um, but there's a common denominator to everybody, and that's racing. And whether it's uh, it's Kimi, whether it's Roman, whether it's anybody else here, you know, as long as that common denominator is respected, you know, the rest is sort of noise and uh, that's what we care about a word about roman eric because you kept faith in him uh when he had some tough times last season what are your expectations for him in 2013 um obviously to not run like 2012 and um no more seriously we we keep facing him uh we believe he has the potential to to deliver uh, he, 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 can, uh, he can qualify well, he can uh, race well, he did it in the past, he won in every championship he entered, so there is no reason why he should not deliver as well in Formula 1. And obviously, as a team partner, uh, he, we have to race for a team, he, and, and we want to deliver this year the top three position, so we need both driver and obviously Roma to bring as much as possible some big points. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Fighting talk from Gerard and Eric. But of course, we're here to see this new car, not just to talk about it. So let's 
lead into that with the man whose vision it has been, the man who's taken it from the drawing board to reality here. It's the technical director at Lotus, James Allison. You're first to launch. Um, what does that mean? Does that mean you've been on top of this project from the beginning or you haven't done very much to last year's car? Well, um, I, I can assure you we've done a lot. There's been a, a, the whole team here working heart and soul on this thing uh, for a long time. But uh, first to launch is a nice thing. It gives us first opportunity to uh, catch the attention of the media and, and have people excited about this project along with us. But no, there's a lot gone into it and it's uh, going to be an exciting car. Is there, a, is there a big idea under here, James, or are we looking at lots of little refinements? Is it an, an evolution, effectively, from last season? Well, the, the rules uh, for 2013 are very, very similar to those for 2012. So you can expect a lot of family resemblance uh, from a 2012 car. But as ever in F1, the devil is in the detail. And uh, the detail of this car adds up to a significant uh, amount of performance. So it's a mixture. There's, there's some neat new ideas in there and a lot of uh, pushing of the same sort of concepts as we've been working on for a few years. Okay. Well, if you wait here for a moment, uh, James, uh, we can recreate the, the lovely scene from the Bond films where Q introduces the new car to 007. I'm casting you in, in that role. But here at Enstone, of course, we have two men licensed to thrill in the new Lotus. Uh, a flying Frenchman who, in his first full season in Formula One, achieved a hat-trick of podiums. And a famous Finn, who in his comeback year was seven times on the podium and, of course, won the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Roman Grosjean and the 2007 Formula One World Drivers' Champion, Kimi Raikkonen. <laughs> Thank you, gents. Happy New Year to you, Kimi. So here we are. It's always an exciting moment for you both. Um, I'll come to you first, Roman. I mean, do you think what's under here is going to enable you to get that maiden victory? Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, as, uh, as everybody said, we did our best, or the team did our best to improve from last year. I think uh, we had a beautiful car last year to drive. Really nice. Uh, Kimi won the race. Uh, we had some, uh, some podiums, so uh, everybody wants more. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to try to achieve. Okay. I mean, Kimi, with... As James said, maybe most cars this year being an evolution from what we had last year. Are there reasons for optimism with what you've got here? Oh, yeah, of course there is. Uh, but it's not going to be easy easy to improve what we did uh, already last year. But that's our aim, to, to do better, not just for the drivers, but for the team also. And uh, hopefully we, we can do it. Okay. Well, Kimi, I'm getting a, getting a voice in my ear saying, get on with the launch. So I think... I'll borrow your catchphrase and say, leave me alone, I know what I'm doing. But no, the voice is quite right. Now is the moment uh, to reveal the new Lotus for 2013. So I could, if I could ask you, Kimi and Roman, if you would withdraw the covers. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see if we have got potentially a championship winning car. Please give it up for the new Lotus, the E21. Well, it's, it's a lovely looking car. I'll just get round to the side of you here. We hear a lot these days about drivers having a lot of input in the design of these F1 cars. Kimi, uh, were you pen and paper over the Christmas break scribbling down ideas or not? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's for them to do it. And uh, we try to do the best that we can in the races then after. And uh, we have all the trust in the, in the people that, uh, that made the last year's car and made this one. What's the main improvement you're perhaps looking for? Uh, qualifying pace, I suppose, was something you, you're trying to develop over the course of the year. Has that been a priority, do you sense, in, in, in how things have developed? Um, yeah, I mean, we try to improve on all the areas. And, uh, and for sure, if you can qualify the more higher up, it will give you a much better chance to, to win, uh, win more races. And it makes your life much easier in, in the race days. But, uh, I mean, it's the whole package that... Uh, They've been trying to make it faster and uh, hopefully, hopefully managed to do that. Yeah. What about you, Roman? A lot to reflect on from last season. A very solid end to this season from you. Um, can you maintain the highs you have and, and avoid some of, the, some of the lows you have, if I could put it that way? 
Well, I will love anyhow. Yeah. So I think it's clear for everybody that we had a good qualifying speed and too much incidents. So uh, that's uh, what I'm going to try to work on. Uh, I'm confident. Well, hopefully the car will be good. And, uh, and I know the guys, as I said, work very hard. It looks, looks very nice. She's already a good starting point. And then, uh, yeah, we will try to make it uh, as good as we can and try to improve myself uh, every time I jump in the car. What about the opposition this year? You've finished ahead of Mercedes and the constructors last season. Lewis Hamilton has gone there. Does that make them significantly more formidable or not? Well, I'm sure they've been working very hard during the winter. Everybody did. Uh, it's, uh, it's difficult to uh, draw a clear uh, classification before the qualifying in Melbourne. Uh, we had a good surprise last year. Hopefully it's going to be the case again this year. Okay. Gentlemen, I wonder if we could just come and have a look at the front of the car because viewers will be interested to see that we still have this bump on the nose for a start. I wonder if James can explain this because teams were allowed to make a cosmetic change if they wanted to, to smooth that out. Um, why haven't you done that? Well, we, uh, we have not done it yet because the cosmetic panel would, would weigh a few grams and, and uh, with a Formula One car, putting a few grams on that you don't need to is, is really anathema to us. Uh, however, if we find a cosmetic panel that um, looks nice, but much more importantly and crucially develops us a bit of downforce, then we'll, we'll pop it on quick as you like. Fair enough. Kimmy, what about the DRS? There's some comments from you about how those rules change this season and you can only use it in the DRS zone in qualifying. Um, does that bring potentially the Red Bulls a little bit closer to you? What, what kind of difference might that make? Um, it's the same for everybody. So. Um, I don't really think it's going to change off a lot, uh, uh, the running order, but I think it's a smart thing because uh, and then the, as long as uh, the rules are the same for all, it's not going to change a lot and it's the same like in the race now, so uh, it's, I think it's fine. What about you as a driver coming into this season now as opposed to last season when you've had the, the, the years off and here you come from having been third in the championship, is that a big advantage for you? Um, well, we all start from the same uh, same uh, zero point, and uh, um, it should be a bit more easy because I know the people. The people knows me now, and uh, and it's uh, it's more easy to go to the first race for sure. So, um, but it doesn't mean that it's going to give us a better result. Hopefully, it will, and uh, that's that's what we're aiming for. What about Lewis, our last Roman, moving to Mercedes? Does that make McLaren a little bit less formidable or not? Um, hopefully yes, but um, I'm, I don't know. You don't know how, how good cars the others will do and uh, how good car ours is. And uh, we will have to wait and see in the testing and then uh, go from there. But uh, I think it will be interesting to see what happens. Just last, one last thought with you. If you didn't believe this team were capable of, of winning the championship or giving you a chance to win the Drivers' Championship, would, it, would you have stayed here? Well, we had a contract and um, I'm being very happy with, uh, with all the people and with the team. So I don't really see uh, uh, the point to go uh, anywhere else. But um, I mean, I, I had a great year. Of course, we want to achieve better results this year, but uh, as, as a team. And uh, I mean, like I said, uh, if you're happy somewhere, well, I don't really see a point to go anywhere else. Final word for you, Roman. You qualified very well in Australia last year. You must head there with high hopes. Well, I like the track there. It's the first race of the season, but first of all, we have the winter testing where we really want to do a lot of things. I think uh, some updates coming before the first race, hopefully. And, uh, and yeah, then we will uh, start a good, hopefully get a good qualifying result in Melbourne, then much more, much better result in the race, and then being consistent. Uh, in the points, that's what I want, going out of the cars as uh, often as I can, uh, saying that I did the job and I did my best. We'll finish on that positive thought. Thank you very much, Roman. Thank you very much, Kimmy. And, and, and thank you, James, as well. And thank you very much for having us here, Lotus. It's been a, a pleasure and a privilege launching this car with you live on Sky Sports News. We wish you all the very best in 2013 with it. Of course, you have won the first race of the season, in a sense. You're the first of the teams to get your new car out from under the wraps. Will it continue to be a front runner when the real action begins? We don't have very much longer to wait to find out.